Okay guys, so I finish uh, all my step until now and filter everything uh, to the high purity of solution, okay? And uh, in this little beaker here, I got my first solution from uh, MLCTs. This is the mix nitric and aqua regia from my first solution when uh, MLCTs got old not uh, green and uh, after reparation I got about uh, 125 milliliter solution and this in this beaker I got uh, my first solution from uh, magnetic pins you see they got some green color okay and uh, in this little beaker I have my second solution when I that uh, MLCC after first step of the recovery, I uh, dry and I green and I once again I treat that with the uh, aqua regia. So I have here some about uh, 500 milliliter solution, and uh, this step I I do because I want to see if that any leftovers of the noble metal after you treat whole uh, MLCC without grinding, okay? And this is my second solution from a magnetic MLCC after grinding. So, first solution from whole MLCCs and the second solution from grinded MLCCs. So, I grind MLCCs after first step okay so right now I will made just a simple chlorine generator and I will draw palladium if there are any palladium uh, with the chlorine gas I use HCl and bleach uh, I have some DMG but for me chlorine work my much better okay so let's let uh, drop some palladium okay in the form of the red brick Palladium.
Hey guys, after, I don't know, maybe a half hour, see this two solutions still not settled down everything, but if you see on the bottom, I have some deposit, very, very, well, small deposit, but not bad. Let's see this little one. Yeah, I have some deposit. And this is from magnetic. You see that from the first solution. I have some deposit here. And on the second solution. Well, no, just a little one. Something, but not, nothing too much. So, okay. Let's see that. Uh, let's rotate this. This is from uh, nitric acid and aqua regia. Mix it together, drop it silver, and this is the result from the first uh, treatment, this MLCC. After that, I dry MLCC, I green that MLCC, and I got this two solution. So this is on the from the second so we are definitely leech mostly of the palladium in the first step and uh, in the second step we have just a little palladium in this non-magnetic and this magnetic we don't have anything at all so from the first we actually have palladium from the non-magnetic and even from magnetic a smaller amount but we have something okay I will separate uh, these and these from non-magnetic to magnetic and just see what contain more palladium okay let's start Hey guys, I show you how to drop palladium with a fluorine gas, but right now this is my solution from some other material which I uh, process. This is also a palladium uh, color. Remember to a color uh, platinum in solution, but this is I know that this is palladium. And uh, right now I'm gonna show you how to look when you drop. Palladium with the DMG, dimethyl glyoxime. I had some dimethyl glyoxime dissolved in water, and right now I will add it to this. See that?
So that this yellow stuff is the salt of palladium. So this is how look drop with the dimethyl glyoxide, DMG. Okay guys, so this is our palladium, see that? This is the yellow salt palladium. And uh, the next step is a calcification. So you just add it to metal dish and put that on heat, on slowly heat and uh, after some time the stuff will burn and uh, turn into elemental palladium. So we can melt, melt it, okay? You can melt it straight away like these, but you probably have some lost, so this is the best stuff, okay? I'm gonna remove now, try to not inhale these vapors, okay? Hey guys, calcification is over. I got still little here, yellow salt, see that? I just want to show you how palladium salt look after calcification. This, see that? It's look, here too, it's look like a sponge. This is a filter, but this is a palladium. It's look like a sponge and it's so light. I do not expect much more. Here, you see that? I do not expect much more, but uh, too, too much, but we have some palladium, okay?